Hey, this is Kirk from the DynamoDB team, and today we are talking about the core concepts of tables, items, and attributes. So let's get going. Think of a DynamoDB table like a bucket you securely store your data in. In this case, it's your application's data and what are called items in DynamoDB. Each table must have a primary key defined, which is enforced, and has its own table level settings for capacity, backups, replication, and so on. Beyond the primary key, which is required for every item, the schema for each item in the table is flexible, and each item can have completely different attributes than another item. Keep in mind that an item is the core unit of data in DynamoDB. You've already heard me mention primary keys, but let's actually jump into what that means, what they're made up of, and how they relate to items. First, let's talk about what makes up a primary key, then we'll define what the primary key is. It, this is kind of a chicken and the egg situation, so bear with me for a moment. For each item, there are two types of keys. There is a partition key, which is also called a hash key, and a sort key, which is also called a range key. If you think about those names for a moment, you can probably see what they are and what their function is. A partition key notes where that data will be stored in the database. Which partition will it be in? The partition key's value is hashed by the database, and thus why it can also be called a hash key. A sort key denotes how the items which share the same partition key are sorted within that partition key. A sort key is how you can represent one-to-many relationships in DynamoDB with what is called an item collection. This is where two or more items have the same partition key but different sort keys, with each item being related by the partition key. We'll look deeper at this critical concept here in a moment. Now that you know about these two types of keys, let's discuss how they come into play and talk about primary keys of the table. Primary key comes in two different types. There's a simple primary key, which means it just has a partition key on that table. Then there's a composite primary key, which means that table is configured to have a partition key and sort key required. And every item inserted into that table must have that primary key as part of the item. So why is this all important? Well, when querying DynamoDB, you have to give it the partition key, and you can optionally give it the sort key. Otherwise, you're doing a full table scan of the table. Like any other database, full table scans have their place, but you should avoid doing scan operations as a primary query mechanism. They're not always efficient and used too frequently that can have cost implications. For more information on scan operations, check the link in the description. Let's look at a sample data model real quick to show these concepts in action. Now this happens to be a view from a tool called NoSQL Workbench for DynamoDB. This example presents three separate but related items. We'll talk about each one of these items and dive a little bit deeper to show you examples on how this affects data modeling with DynamoDB. Let's look at the first item. It has a partition key of account1234 and then a sort key of inventory colon colon armor. The value of the sort key is just a string, but this identifies this particular item in my data model as being in the player's armor section of their inventory. And you might ask why the double colon in between inventory and armor. Double colons is just a delimiter I like to use personally, as really nothing else uses double colons. I use it to identify my different object types in a data model like this, and then later on, I can do substrings and other functions in my code that I might need on this value. You can see the second item with the same account number as the partition key, but this item is the player's weapons inventory. Now, why would I have a separate item for the same inventory? In this case, it's a data modeling decision based on the access patterns of my application. In my game, I display a player's inventory on different panels, and a player's inventory will grow over time to be quite large. When I write to the player's weapons inventory, I am probably not going to be writing to the armor inventory. In this particular case, their inventory might go above a few kilobytes over time. And instead of writing the entire inventory each time I want to swap out, let's say, a sword, I can just update just the weapons inventory. This does not mean I can't get the user's entire inventory if I need it, though. I can do a query operation with the begins with expression and get all the items that start with inventory in the sort key in just one query. Think in terms of a SQL statement. I could do a select star from my table where user equals account one, two, three, four, and the sort key like inventory percent sign. Perhaps in my game, I do a query to the database to get all the inventory objects for that particular player to display their inventory on screen. But when I go to write their inventory changes back to the database, 
I only want to make changes to the exact sections of the inventory they actually changed. The third item here is the player's login information. This item contains the user's password, hashed of course, the state of their account, and the last login date in Unix epoch format. All three items together make up what is called an item collection in DynamoDB. They have the same partition key, therefore they are related data. In this case, they are the items related to that one player in the game, and likely there would be far more items than a fully fleshed out player. When items have the same partition key, DynamoDB tries to keep these related items within the same partition in the database, thus keeping access times for your data as low and consistent as possible. To summarize, in DynamoDB you have tables, tables have items, items have attributes. You have partition keys, sort keys, and one or both can be configured to be the table's primary key. Primary keys can be simple, which means the table is configured with only a partition key, or the primary key can be a composite, which means the table is configured with both a partition and sort key. Finally, when you need to represent a one-to-many relationship, use an item collection where you have the partition key be the same in each item, and the sort key identifies the item further for a quick, consistent selection by your application. Thanks to be on the lookout for more core concept videos here and on our Twitter handle at DynamoDB.